What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Migo and I am back with another video man. In this video, you guys know I did an, um, uh, a special unboxing video like a couple days ago. Um, I did show this shoe in the video. It's one of my worn Air Force Ones and I do want to do a customization like I said in that video. So. I did order these and that was the unboxing video when I showed you guys the spikes that I ordered and I will be putting them so I decided I will be putting them just on the toe the holes where the you know how uh, the Air Force ones have the holes where the toe is um, that's pretty much where I'll be putting the spikes and I'll probably make like uh, a couple extra holes to make them more evenly throughout the toe box uh, I'm not sure if I should show you guys, but I did start on one shoe. Uh, I'm just gonna go fuck it. I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, that's not in focus. Hold on. You guys, let me know, man, if this looks good. I'm thinking of adding another one here, here, and in between these two. But this is as much as I've gotten. This is what's pretty much is gonna look like. And then, of course, the um the red bottom. Okay, I did start on that shoe, but for this video, I'm going to go ahead and do this this one. And I'm going to show you guys the whole entire process. And I'm going to show you guys what I used to poke the holes. And, and pretty much that's it. And then, of course, the process of me painting the bottom red. But yeah, man, stay tuned. And on my last video, you guys killed it. I posted that video and within hours it got to like 9, 100, 800 views. Next morning I woke up, it was at 2K. Man, you guys are killing it. Make sure you keep watching my content. Make sure if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. And like I did mention on the other video, I will be giving away one of these mini 350 Yeezy boxes filled with Adidas and Yeezy stickers. So yeah, man, and I'll tell you guys the instructions and for a different video, but let's get into the customization. All right, YouTube, so what I use to do this customization, I know I'm not using the uh, proper materials for punching holes through leather, but I used a screwdriver, a lighter, and of course the spikes you guys probably already know by now I heat up the tip of the uh, screwdriver and then I punch it in through the hole and make sure the hole gets bigger and when you guys are doing this be careful man I don't want you guys burning yourselves and commenting down on my video saying that you burnt your house down and shit like that but so let's but let's just get into it man so what you're gonna do is make sure the tip of it gets hot. I smash the stripper in the hotel with my chains. All right, so once you feel like it's hot enough, you grab where there's a hole and then you just go ahead and poke it through. So I'm playing with a kitty with my BBS rings on. Twirl it around, make sure it does get thickened enough because the little screws are thicker than the actual hose so as you guys could just see by now this one hole is bigger than the rest of these holes so now I could grab one of my screws now I can grab one of these and push it through using the inside of the shoe. So let me go ahead and just do that. First I have to find it. I almost forgot. You will be needing a knife, some sort of knife for this as well. And you guys will see why. Oh, but first, um, you guys, this is where the knife comes in handy. I don't recommend doing this to um, a brand new pair of Air Force Ones or whichever shoe you guys might want to do it on. But 
this is a beat up worn pair of mine so that's why I really don't care about them but there's a certain material inside the shoe that it's between the leather and then it's like the and then it's like some uh type of like foam not foam it's like some type of like sponge and then a piece of like another piece of material is like mesh so you want to cut up that mesh and so you can get in between the sponge and the leather so you can poke this actual screw through it and and then once you're done with doing all that to the holes you can either like just super glue the little hole back closed or you could just leave it alone but I I prefer to do that so like when my foot's in there I don't feel my foot my toes aren't rubbing against these screws and there's actually like a sponge and stuff covering it so yeah that's that's the step I'm gonna do now okay so I'm done cutting the material from the inside so you guys may see that's my finger yeah so now you want to grab the little screw and you just want to go in there find that hole once you found it you just want to push it up back up like this and once it's up you want to grab one of um one of the spikes okay so once you grab one of the spikes you want to put your finger on here you want to put your finger under the screw and you want to grab the top of the spike and just screw it on like you regularly screw on a screw so you just turn it, turn it, turn it once it gets hard. And then you want to tighten it. And there you go. That's your first spike. It's there. It won't fall off. As you can see, it's not going nowhere. So what I'm going to do is poke all the holes throughout the entire shoe. And then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. And okay, so I want to just get this out right now. Some of you guys might think, well, why the hell am I lighting up the screwdriver? I could just stab it through. Check out this hole, man. Check out, uh, the second hole from the last. I mean, yeah, I mean, just check out the second hole. This is cold. So. As soon as I, yeah, it'll go through. You see, it's it's gone through. I can shake it around. I pull it out. No difference. No difference. Now, as soon as I light it for a little bit, this is where the big difference comes in. You get this real nice and hot, and you just put it through. And then you could just move it around, make sure it's loose, and then you take it back out, and you see the difference. This is when you light the lighter, when you get the screwdriver hot with the lighter, and this is just poking it through regularly. So now you can just get the screw through the hole easily without struggling. So yeah, that's the reason why I light it up.
It's a beast, my, my name, name is Kodak, but you know that already. My name I don't want the walk, baby, I just want the fatty. Boy, you know Polo that. to the socks, homie, this ain't Perry Ellie. Perry Let me get the raw, I'm a ball like spaghetti. Like spaghetti. All right, guys, so this is what pretty much both shoes look like. Um, I did add these two in the front, which I'm going to add as well here. And I might add another one on the side on both shoes. But this is overall what it's going to end up looking like. Um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. The, all I have to do now is paint the bottoms red. And that will be done with this custom. Let's start painting. All right, so in this process, I will be um, painting the bottom red. Of course, because this is what the custom is about. But um, I had already taped off some of the areas, as you can see, just around the edge. You guys know on the Air Force Ones, there's a um, there's like a whole line that goes around the bottom, and I just traced that line basically with tape, and I'm gonna paint the inside and make sure this is clean. I did rub this down with some acetone. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And the paints I will be using is flat white. I'm going to do a one coat of flat white. And then the rest would be fire red. So you can get that uh, red bottom look. And then you just need paint brushes. So yeah. Watch me shine. I'ma blow up. I swear to God, I ain't lying. I don't need to watch. I already know the time. I've been out here for a little minute now. I guess you forgot what them crackers had me out. Uh, and they kicked my door down. Man, I remember I ain't had no light all in the house. Tell me why I feel like everybody steady telling lies. Why I feel like ain't nobody fun to hold me down. I'ma hold it down till it come my time. It ain't right now, but it's gonna come my time. All right, guys. So. The custom is pretty much done. Um, I did show you guys the toe, of course. The rest of the shoes left the same. And then the bottom was painted red, as you can see. And all I have to do is just add some soap protectors on this so the paint doesn't come off. And, and they're ready to wear, man. Um, I'm not gonna be wearing these until I, I'm gonna order some soap protectors. The, the ones where you apply with a heat gun and stuff until I order some of those tonight. And when they come in, I'll make a video on applying them. And I'm going to do an on feet. But for now, here it is. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Watch me shine.